If you've been watching baseball for any length of time, you've probably heard somebody along the way say the phrase, you can't assume the double play. And basically what they mean is that as long as they, the defensive team gets one out on a play, even if they're trying to turn a double play and uh, something happens that second out isn't gotten for whatever reason, the fielders are okay. There's, there's no reason to charge an error against the fielder. And so usually what they would, this when this would occur, what they're referring to, say we have our second baseman, we have our shortstop, we have our first baseman, there's a ground ball to the second baseman. He flips over to the shortstop who's covering second base, and then maybe the shortstop uh, throws the ball wide, uh, and that pulls the first baseman off the bag. Because they got this force out here, we're assuming, of course, there's a runner on first base to start the play. But as long as they get this out at second base, this this throw that pulls the first baseman off the bag isn't charged as an out or or isn't charged as an error. Or if maybe uh, the throw in this case, uh, second baseman flips to the shortstop. Shortstop makes an accurate throw to the first baseman, but the runner, the batter, has beaten the throw to first base and is safe. You still got this one out, and so they say you know. Fans will say, you can't assume the double play. There would be no error charged on that play. And for the most part, they would be correct. Except they didn't read, apparently, this rule, which is a, an extra comment um, on 1012D, uh, rule number three. And what this rule says that the official score shall not charge an error against a fielder who makes a wild throw attempting to complete a double or triple play. Um, this, of course, is unless uh, the, the throw enables them to reach advance beyond that base. So that would be if uh, a second baseman flips to a shortstop and the shortstop would throw the ball into the crowd, and then instead of only making it to first base, the, the batter would advance that extra base. And so this his advancement... Uh, to first would be on a fielder's choice, his advancement to second would then be on an error. So that would be um, the error uh, that's the exception there. However, if there is a normal play like we had described originally there, uh, if the fielder muffs the, th the thrown ball um, that would have completed a double play had he held on, then the official score can uh, charge that error. So what this means is maybe the batter uh, grounds to the second baseman, the second baseman flips to the shortstop, gets one out, the sh shortstop makes an accurate throw to the first baseman, and th the runner being not yet to first base, um, and the first baseman drops the ball drops an accurately thrown ball that if he had caught that ball would have meant that the batter was out and, and, and completed the double play. In that situation, um, as long as it's the first baseman who's dropping the ball, he will receive an error on that play. So sometimes, um, for the most part, they are correct. You cannot assume the double play. But every once in a while, as long if the fielder does drop an accurately thrown ball that would have meant the double or triple play would have been completed, in that case you can actually kind of assume the double play and you can charge that error.